In this video, we are going to solve an integral taken from the JEE Advance 2010. To evaluate the integral of x to the 4 times 1 minus x to the 4 over 1 plus x squared over x equals 0 to 1. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw this integral is to use a trigonometric substitution because the denominator is of the form 1 plus x squared and if I let x equals tangent theta then 1 plus x squared is equal to 1 plus tangent squared theta which is secant squared theta and at the same time the differential dx is equal to secant square theta d theta and so the two items in yellow will cancel out with only d theta remaining at the same time we'll take a look at um, lower and upper limits when x is equal to zero and that means tangent theta is zero so theta is also zero when x is one theta equals to pi over four so now we can view of this integral. This will be equal to integral over x equals 0 to pi over 4 of the function tangent theta to the 4 times 1 minus tangent theta all to the 4 over secant square theta times secant square theta d theta. And so we have 0 to pi over 4 of the integral tangent theta all to the 4 times 1 minus tangent theta all to the 4. Our integral consists of expressions involving tangent, so I'm going to introduce a few results that we're going to use very frequently so to speed up our calculations on that integral. So our first result is that if I have something like tangent to the power 2n minus 2 plus tangent all to the power 2n I can take our common factor and what remains would be 1 plus tangent squared and so we'll have times secant squared theta d theta now recall that this is actually equal to the derivative of tangent so I could rewrite this as tangent theta all to the power 2n minus 1 over 2n minus 1 which is the power rule plus a constant the second lemma which is kind of an extension of our first result is that I'm going to let i n be the integral of tangent theta to the 2n integrating over theta from 0 to pi over 4 then I'm going to imitate the first lemma is that I'm going to split these tangents into tangent theta to the power 2n minus 2 times tangent squared but the tangent squared is now rewritten into secant squared minus 1. So now I'm going to I'm have tangent to the power 2n minus 2 times secant squared minus tangent to the power 2n minus 2. So the first part of the integral is actually integrable itself because of the secant squared at the end. Similar to what we did in our first lemma, this part will become tangent to the power 2n minus 1 over 2n minus 1. And because it's a definite integral, we have to compute the difference between the values taken by upper limits and lower limits. Minus another integral on the power of tangent. After calculating, we have 1 over 2n minus 1 minus this integral is actually called i n minus 1 because 
this integral is so similar to this, it's just the power of tangent is different. So noticing this, we can iterate the process and in fact I n will become in alternating series, alternating series, which means the signs of um, consecutive terms are different. We have a plus and then a minus and then a plus and then a minus and so on. So the pattern goes like this. 1 over 2n minus 1 minus 1 over 2n minus 3 plus 1 over 2n minus 5 and so on. And depending on the parity of n, of this n, we we'll either have plus or minus, let's say just plus, 1 over one third or minus, and then minus 1 plus the last integral is actually i0. It's actually i0, but in fact i0 is tangent theta all to the power 0, and which means the integrand is just 1. So this integral equals to pi over 4. So this is our alternative series, and we're going to use it very often in our main calculations. Now back to our main problem. So the integrand can be expanded into tangent to the power 4 times 1 minus 4 tangent theta plus 6 tangent square theta minus 4 tangent cube theta plus tangent to the 4 or multiply by tangent to the 4, d theta. And so this is equal to, uh, actually I'm going to regroup the terms, which is that tangent to the 4 plus 6 tangent to the 6 plus tangent to the 8, or the pluses, and then minus 4 tangent to the 5, and then minus 4 tangent to the power 7 the minuses in the second group. Next, I'm going to group them by, by indices. Depending on this part, I'm going to group terms that have um, index of difference to be 2 into one group. As in, I'm going to group it this way, tangent to the 4 plus tangent to the 6, the difference of the indices are, is 2, plus tangent to the 6, plus tangent to the 8, the second group, plus the remaining tangent to the power 6, which there are 4 of them, so altogether we have 6 tangent to the power 6, we have 6 of them, and the minuses we can take out minus 4 times tangent to the power 5 plus tangent to the power 7 d theta. The reason that I group, the, group them in this way so that I can make use of our first lemma, which is that I can now rewrite the integrand as tangent to the power 4 plus tangent to the power 6 minus 4 to times tangent to the power 5 all multiplied by tangent squared plus 1 and then added by an extra 4 tangent to the power 6 theta d theta. And at the same time, I have this to be equal to secant squared theta. So these tangents will multiply by secant square theta instead plus 4 tangent to the power 6. Now, the first product can be easily integrated because I can say that secant square theta d theta to be d tangent derivative of tangent so I can just treat it as kind of a power rule to integrate it. 
So it becomes tangent to the power 5 over 5 plus tangent to the power 7 over 7 minus 4 tangent to the power 6 over 6. Simplific uh, simplifying the fraction here is not, not that important, so I'm going to leave it later over the limits power for 4 and 0. Adding 4 times the integral of tangent to the power 6, again from 0 to power over 4. Now from this we can say that the first part, the first part in yellow, is equal to 1 fifth plus 1 seventh minus 4 over 6. Add by 4 times the second integral. And the second integral from our second lemma is actually equal to starting from 1 fifth and then we follow the pattern of the alternating series. This one is minus, the sign is minus and then the fraction is one third. After minus is going to be a plus, then that's one over three, the next one is one over one, which is one. Finally, swap signs again, minus, and next term should be pi over four. So that's our second integral. That's from our second lemma. Now we can simplify the fractions. So for the ones with denominator five, they add up to be 1 plus 4 over 5, or for that to have denominator 6, with minus uh, 4 over 6 is actually 2 thirds, minus another 4 thirds, and then plus 1 over 7 plus 4 minus pi, because pi over 4 times 4 is exactly pi. So our final answer here is that These fractions is actually an integer. So it's 1 minus 2 and about 4 at the end. So that's 3. 3 plus 1 over 7 is equal to 22 over 7 and then minus pi. So this is our final answer to this integral.